Two teams that came into the NFL together back in 1976. The Seahawks and Bucks are underway. like this for your wide receiver they can hit big or they can be duds yeah you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it but in this case they gave yardage and didn't get it back after the loss to start out here's second and 11. now brady it's caught by mike evans and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A big pickup there, 18 yards and a Buccaneer first. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Shot right. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Hey. Opting to run again here with White. And he'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. On third down, a run from White. Room here to run. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game. And it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. Now they'll throw with Brady. He's got Otten. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. A nice chunk play from the tight end position, and it illustrates the cohesiveness that he and his quarterback have. Both saw the extra defender doubling him up, and they still combined for the completion and big gain. First down, here's White. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Second and 13, Brady, and his throw is going to be incomplete. Anytime the ball's thrown in the middle of the field, it's popped up in the air. I expect someone to catch, no matter whether it's offense or defense, because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They're looking for Godwin, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Uchina Nuosu. The 40. He's at the 30. And the Seahawks are going to take possession of the football. Well, short of them returning it for a pick six, that was about the worst start you could ask for in this one because your advantage of getting the ball first is gone, and you're set up a short distance from your end zone. Now you're counting on your defense to prevent a touchdown, and your offense, you better be ready to come out swinging on the next series. That's complete right around the eight. And the Seahawks are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. 
And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Smith. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, Brandon, we see why it's a team game there because there's a sigh of relief that they just released defensively. If he's able to get that one away, that's likely a touchdown. But instead, that pressure from the front got to him and forced the incompletion. You're right. He had him open just a split second too late on the release. So pretty good opening drive. That'll make the home fans somewhat happy. They won in six, but they got three in the early lead. And they should be happy. The guys look good getting down the field. That's got to give them a little bit of hope that good things are in store here today for them. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Their second drive here, the ball game, Charles. Remember last time they threw the interception, but the defense held up. It bent a little, but didn't break, only giving up the three points. Yeah, obviously they left some points on the table there their last time out, but boy, they have to thank their defense for holding the opposition just three after they threw the pick. Their turn now, back out on the field, put together a good drive and get some points of their own. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Well, the Jets sweep. This is Godwin. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Give him 30 yards there. Well, for a play that didn't look like much at the snap, that jet sweep turned into a big play in a hurry. And how about how they ran the play? Because they obviously caught the defense out of position and not expecting that one, and that turned into a nice chunk of yardage. But how about the execution on the handoff? Most of the times we see on the jet sweep, they punch it forward so that if it falls to the ground, it's just an incomplete pass. Here, you've got to execute it well, otherwise it's a fumble. Well, the Jets sweep. This is Godwin. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Oh, now Godwin with a chance to run it. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Now first and 10 at the 11. Brady. Touchdown! Tom Brady hooking up with Mike Evans there. And the Bucs have moved out in front. Todd Bowles leaving his offense on the field. They're going to go for two here. And this will be caught as they convert here for two. So they're able to throw it in for the two-point conversion. Sometimes that can be a risky play, but they got it. Yeah, you always have to be careful here because if you do get it intercepted, it's returned by the defense, that's two points for them. But he identified an open target and put it right on him. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you... And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by Levante David. And it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house from Buccaneer TD. Ryan Suckup on for the point after. 
and it's going to make our score 15 to 3. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Pulls it in at the 13. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Fresh off the pick six, it's Smith. Deep ball for Goodwin. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Now that's a dangerous throw right there. Moving off to his right, throwing it all the way back across field to his left. I know he had a lot of confidence in his arm. But sometimes the ball can just hang up there when it goes that distance. He was fortunate it was just incomplete. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. To throw is Smith. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Off of play action, here's Smith. He lets it fly for Lockett. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. One thing that offensive guys stress when they throw the deep ball, you're just counting on your receiver to find it, adjust before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and 10. Geno now to throw. Left side here taken in by Metcalf. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try for the first with Walker, and he's going to be a yard short. A two-yard pickup leads to fourth and one. Just a two-yard pickup, and that should necessitate a call for the punt team here on fourth down. Okay, ready? They'll try and run for it. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard game. From the red zone now, Smith. And this will be caught by Metcalf for a Seahawk touchdown. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Seahawks are back within a score. Ready? So, Charles, they had him double covered in the end zone. It still was not enough. I wonder if they're thinking to themselves now, two didn't work. Do we go for three guys on him next time? Because he fought through all that extra attention. Got himself into a great position where he's going back up confident enough to challenge the coverage and threw it his way. What a big time play right there. Both by the quarterback trusting him and by him going up and getting it. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. 
And not an abundance of time remains on the clock, Charles, but you would think more than enough to try to extend this lead before intermission. And when you're talking about extending the lead, I think you're talking about aiming for the end zone because there is plenty of time for that. The fallback is to get three. But in your mind, you put six on the board right before the half. That's a heck of a dagger and great momentum to carry into the locker room. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Brady to throw for it on fourth down. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. From midfield, here's Brady. He completes it to Evans. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Fournette, a first down carry. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. play of the first half. The final shot before half for Brady. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL. And it's a presentation of EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. The Seahawks trailing, but they will have possession first here as we resume action in the third quarter. A fairly short kick from the 14. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. So out of the locker rooms, here they come. Their first drive of the third quarter, and Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, but we got a tight one and set up to be a very entertaining second half. And as we know, partner, in the NFL, there's trailing and there's trailing, right? Sometimes you're discouraged by how much you're down, but in this case, this is a tight ball game, so there's a sense of optimism here. I think they went in at the half and looked at their play sheet and said, these are the plays we really like. What do you say we use them to start the second half and get us going? And he'll take it down, shy of the 45 at the 46. On second down, a run with Dallas. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes he just didn't want to break. Blitz coming and down he goes. The safety Antoine Winfield got in there that time. Oh, free safety blitz. That can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback he'd better get home and make the play otherwise a big play could result for the offense so the completion good for six yards and that'll make it third and 13. not an easy spot here they'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first he wants it all for the end zone that's going to be knocked away and incomplete. That was a nice job defensively. You could almost see him going through the coaching points. Adjust, find the football, knock it away. 
Well executed. They snap it to Smith. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Seahawks go for it but can't convert. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Brady now on first down. He'll check this one off to Fournette. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. To throw again on second down. Brady. That's complete to Wayne. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game at Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure. And in for the Buccaneers touchdown. Russell Gage, 31 yards. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Brady will look to throw for it. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Tariq Nolan picks it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The box ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And they've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. Joe Tryon Shoyinka showcasing the pass rush. Well, they had the right down and the definite distance to take a shot downfield, but it didn't work out the way that they had envisioned. No, that's a situation where if you take a sack close to the line of scrimmage, it's not that bad, but a loss like that, you can't, you can't take a sack there. Yeah, absolutely. The one thing you cannot do, they did. Good one, able to haul it in. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith. Oh, he tries to get it to Metcalf, but it's intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it. And it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house for Buccaneer TD. 